Hello guys, so we just wanted to uh, make this video because we want to uh, give you our predictions for the upcoming Sunday that is super, as they say, I suppose. Um, Manchester City are taking on Arsenal and Chelsea are at home to Manchester United. So first of all, Daniel, how do you see uh, the Arsenal match going against City? Um, I think it would be hard to predict against anything but Man City win. Um, going to the Champions League game against um, Napoli, I think a lot of people were expecting Man City to struggle in Italy. They were amazing once again. Uh, their, their front line, even without Jesus, Gabriel Jesus up front, they, uh, they looked incredible. Sane's speed was unreal. Aguero broke the record with a fantastic finish. And um, Arsenal play, um, you know, their defence isn't as great. They've got this Europa League game against uh, Corella Silvestre of uh, Serbia. They'll play their Euro Europa League team in that. So... I've got to be honest with you, um, I, I'm going for a Man City win. I think there'll be goals as well. Um, it's, a, it's a ridiculous amount of goals Man City has scored at home yet had this season. And you can see um, Arsenal stopping them. When when Arsenal played Everton, uh, Everton scored twice. Second goal was an absolute doozy, really, from Petr Cech. Trying to get caught in possession, trying to dribble out of his area. And I just look at this Arsenal team and they, they haven't... And, Ian Wright is probably going to be mad, but I haven't got the fight. <laughs> and look at some stats. Uh, in 8 out of 10, uh, this is for, for, for both teams actually, in 8 out of 10 home games for City and 8 out of 10 away games for Arsenal, there have been over 2.5 goals. The problem is that the odds of over 2.5 is around 1 in 36 at the minute. So, but, but, but over 3.5 has landed in 6 out of 10 games for both as well, and that's 1.92. Would you be tempted? Yeah, I'd probably take it. Um, I think I think this one will finish up 3-1. Maybe, maybe, you know, 3-0. 3-1, 3-0. Yeah, something over 3-0. Yeah, you got like it. it has to be a Man City win, because Arsenal... And, and, and Arsenal could crumble very easily. Like, they, they, they tend to crumble when when they concede early against big teams. Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, the other thing that, that's interesting, like, uh, Napoli game last, uh, the Napoli game was a case in point. Um, Man City closing the game out, 3-2. And they're still looking for another goal. We got it to make it 4-2. They're, they're not scared of going for more goals while closing out a game, which is great news for punters looking for over two and a half goals because there's nothing worse when a team's 2-0 up and you've got over two and a half goals and they're just like, okay, we've got this, we'll, we'll sit on 2-0. So you're going to go for 3-1? Yeah, 3-1. 3-1 yeah. to Man City. Yeah, I'd say 3-4-1 would be my goal as well. Right then, so uh, Chelsea are home to Manchester United. What do you think is going to happen here? Mourinho parking the bus? Um, yeah, and I, I don't think you will need to... Well, I... I I think Chelsea showed their problems against Roma. Um, it's all down to if Umbrella can't take place or not. Um, against Roma, their defence was awful. Um, but they had goals that would come straight down the middle. Three players going for the same ball. And they missed Conte so much. They, I, I can't believe they sold Matic. Matic, they missed him as well. And of course, he's, he's perfect for a Man U. Um, I know that Mourinho's had a lot of criticism for parking the bus of being defensive, but He's made Manchester United really hard to beat. And yeah, they, they don't score as many. You know, Lukaku's not scored for like a month. But it doesn't matter if, if you're like, if, if teams can't score past you, you need one score. Again. What do you think? When Lukaku wanted to take the penalty tonight against Benfica, did, was, was that madness by Mourinho? Not to no, I, I think, I think, um, that sort of thing's normally decided before the game. And Mourinho said that, you know, like before the game, like, um, Martial was first. Then it was Daly Blinds. You know, you, you, you've got to you've got to have this set up. And yeah, you know, emotion like give it give it to Lukaku because he needs a goal. But they were only one nil up. You know, you, you've got to secure the win, and you've got to do that in the most efficient, professional way possible. And that's what Mourinho does. I have a couple of stats for you here. So Chelsea have won the last seven, um, last seven from ten. They've had overs in over two point five and seven out of ten home games, but. United have only had overs in four out of ten previous away games. It's, it's like there could be goals, but there might not it, it, it could be like three 0 or it could be nil nil. I, I I honestly think it's going to be a one nil. It's going to be a very very cagey game. To, to, to City or Chelsea uh, or to United? Let's to to Man United. Oh. I think Mourinho is going to uh, come back to Chelsea victorious. Um, but like I say, I, for this one, uh, my honest advice is um, if you're not sure. Keep an eye out and wait for the lineups. And if Conte is in the team for Chelsea, then maybe consider Chelsea uh, like um, to do a little bit better. Because you know he will make a difference. 
Um, but I think it's going to be a really tight game, like 1-0 for Mourinho. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. If Kante's back, though, I'd, I'd flip it over go 1-0 for Chelsea. Yeah, I probably would too. Um, Kante's the key in this one. It really is. Okay. Thanks for joining us then. For more great tips from the Premier League, check out protips.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get daily videos as well. I've been Paddy Murphy. Good luck.